Maria Georges, and this is my dad, Nick Georges, and you <laughs> are watching The Batchmakers. Cheers. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Batchmakers, presented by Good Time Media. We have a very, very special guest today, a uh, recent winner of Batchmaker of the Year. Uh, he's the coolest human being alive. Without him, there's no Maria way. There's no Team Maria. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Maria's dad is here. Let's give it up for Nick. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining joining hey, us. Today. How, how, how are you? You doing all right? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah, really good. Good. Um, I want to start out by asking because the first time we saw you on our screen, um, we immediately saw you and we're like, that's the coolest human being of all time. First of all, her dad. So cool. The coolest dude of all time. <laughs> just ripping a stone. Dude. Just, yeah. Just like so, Dad, any last minute advice you'd like to give me before I go? I guess with this kind of thing, you got to go with your heart. Growing up, seeing. Dude, just like, oh, yeah, hope you find, hope you find love, dog. Was it your goal to look super cool? Did you know, like, this is my moment? I want to pop the chain. I want to have the cigar. I want to lean back. What was your thought process? Well, well, thank you very much for the compliments, first of all. But no, uh, I was taken by surprise. Maria came up to me and she said, we got to do some kind of a video. Uh, we did the video. And then I saw you guys. Maria shows me everything that you guys put on air. Everything. I, so I've become a big fan of you guys. Great, <laughs> great podcast. Great podcast. Maria loves you guys. We love uh, actually, her. Actually, the whole family loves you guys. Oh. Loompa Loompa love you guys. Everybody loves you <laughs> That's amazing. What was your reaction when she told you she was doing The Bachelor? Were you aware of the show or did you have to do some research? No, no, I watched the show. I used to watch the show. Not not much. I mean, my wife watches it a lot. And uh, she had gone to California, I guess, for uh, her birthday. She comes back and she says, you know, I got onto The Bachelor. And she liked Joey. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I never, I, with Maria, it's like, you know, I trust everything she says and everything she wants to do because she's, she's got her head on straight. So I just said, you know what? Okay, I'm going to be your biggest fan. And then two days later, she took off, went to California, and that was it. It was, it was a shock. It was a shock to everybody. Wow. So it was, it was a two-day turnover? Well, I think after she was chosen, I think two days after that, she took off. Yeah. So it was quick. Wow. It wow. was quick. And me and Maria, we're, we're very close. So, uh, I mean, we talk every night. I, I see her almost every day. And then knowing that she's leaving and I'm not going to see her for a couple of months, that was hard. Or if she stayed that long. I mean, she could have left the first day. Yeah. So, um, obviously, you know, in, in the hometowns, you got to uh, meet Joey. Um, it's the first thing when Joey walked in, um, I don't know if you meant to do this or you do this with everyone, but you hit him with the, Hey buddy, is that, is that, is that kind of your, your yeah. saying, or is it, you yeah. were kind of trying to show him who's top dog in the house? No, that's my saying. I mean, and he was a nice guy, you know, he appeared to be a good guy. I, I call everybody either buddy or pal or bro or whatever. He well, was, what was, was what guy. was that filming process like for hometowns? Do you have much prep? When you get the call, like, hey, we're coming, how how quick of a turnaround is that? What do you do mentally to say, I might be meeting my future daughter's husband? We got a call. Uh, I, I got a call from one of the producers, and they said that um, um, your daughter's going to be on hometown. But it might not be your home. It might be somewhere else. So, because they didn't get, they couldn't get another visa or something like work permits or something to come into Canada. So they moved us into an Airbnb somewhere in the States. I mean, uh, Buffalo or someplace like that. Oh. So we had to actually, you know, they gave us about a week. We picked up, we left. They, they, everything was good. They gave us the accommodations. Uh, they put us up in a hotel. And um, the next day we met Maria and we met Joey. So it was good. Yeah, wow. it was good. Airbnb, that's so cool. I, I definitely just thought yeah, like, it, was, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't a house. No, it was a cool house. Looked sick. Yeah, it was. It was a nice <laughs> house. Can't say it was a nice house. Wow. Um. So Joey's listed at five eleven, right? And so for all the short kings out there, we want to know: is the five eleven actually five ten, or is it actually six foot? Because nobody's actually five uh, eleven. Joey, well, I think it was around. It was around my height. So I'm I'm like five ten and a half. 
So he's uh, he, he could be five ten and a half, five eleven. He's wrong. He's around there. All right, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure he put six foot on some things. Um, <laughs> what were you hesitant when you found out he's a tennis coach? I'm a tennis coach, not the most appealing. Hey, you're going to be in my family job. Was that a like a hesitant moment for you? You're like, hey, maybe we don't want that in our lives. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pro tennis coach. There we go. That was okay with me. I was All okay right. with me. Did you assume Maria was going to do well? Obviously, you know her best out of anyone in the world. Did you assume, hey, whoever this guy is, I, she, I, knew, I, knew, I knew Maria. I knew Maria was going to go into this, and uh, I knew she was going to go in, like not taking no crap from nobody. But she was going to go in, like I mean, she's she's respectful. Uh, she's honest, but she's, you know, if, if somebody comes at you, if she, if anybody comes at her, you know, she's going to handle her business. It's not just the way she is. So the, I, I didn't know how, how, she, how that would play out for her in there. Um, but after watching the show, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, I think she did good. I did. I didn't think she was gonna. I, I didn't think she was gonna go out number one day one. Um, yeah. I mean, I saw Joey. They showed pictures of Joey, and and they they did look like they made a nice couple. Even when they came to hometown, the way it was, guys, it was like, uh, yeah, I think this is the guy. I think these guys are gonna get married. It was like that, you know. So I tried to be as nice as I could, you know. I. I was being as as nice to to Joey too because I thought this guy could probably be my son-in-law. It was that nice. It was that wow. they were holding hands and they were, you know, calling each other babe and all that. So when I saw that, you know, that's when I said, you know, yeah, put put the guards down, you know, give it a shot because I never seen these kind of things, guys. These things. It's not like Maria hasn't had boyfriends. She has. But she doesn't bring guys home and say, you know, dad, this is my boyfriend. Oh, you know what? This is, oh, where's the other guy? Oh, yeah, we're not together. And there's another guy. And, another guy. and that doesn't happen. You know, if the guy, if, if the guy's serious and she's serious, you know, she'll bring him. But I've met a couple of them. Nice guy. It didn't work out. Never brought him home. Doesn't mean that it's weird. Yeah. They made yeah. it up. And, and, and during that uh, hometown date, was there anything that they like? cut out that was kind of like crazy or any specific dialogue that you can remember that I don't know would be fun to share that maybe wasn't shown on screen on my part the only thing that um, they cut out I was talking to one of the producers when they asked me and they said to me that well that was nice that Joey asked you um, for your blessing and and I just turned around. I said to them, well, that was nice. I respect that. But if he didn't mean it, or if he meant, if he was telling everybody else the same, asking everybody else the same question, then it becomes meaningless to me. And they, they said, you know, that, yeah, you're right. That was the only thing. The one part that they put us to do was when they had us looking out the window. That wasn't our idea. <laughs> That was, that was crazy. You guys were all staring was, at him. You know what? I have to clear that up because it wasn't us. We're not that type. They had us out there. They had us out there looking out the window. For what reason? I don't know. But besides that, everything else was was pretty, you know, dead on. You know, Joey was a was a great guy. Um, he came across as a as a nice guy. Uh, I can't say nothing bad about him. Love that. Love that. Um, when you what was your process watching it back? Were you like, I don't want to see my daughter making out with this guy on TV? Were you like, I want to like peek my head in, watch a little bit? Or did you, were you seated front row ready to watch this thing? Well, from the beginning, that's one thing I didn't like. I didn't want to watch. And that was the reason why I was like on the fence of her even going to The Bachelor. But after I just became like a fan of hers. And I knew, I knew Maria's not stupid. You know, she knows what she's doing and she's, and I know the type of person she is. So was I front row? No. Um, was I excited to see her on the big screen? Yeah, it was, it was nice. And I mean, we watched it as a family, but you know, we, we basically relived the whole thing every week. You know, it was, 
you know, even even she was like kind of uh, scared to see what what was going to happen, what they were going to show. Yeah. Did you have a favorite moment where it was like that? That's my girl. That's my daughter right there. I loved Montreal. Uh, I love that 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 uh, princess date or uh, princess date. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty woman mm-hmm. date. Yeah, that that was that was good. I love the the um, the Sydney the two on one. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, what else? Actually, the whole show the the whole show was good. No, he he wasn't a big fan of the <laughs> let me slip into something more comfortable. I'll tell oh, you yeah, that. that. Yeah, that I didn't like. I, I was gonna ask. What a fan of. <laughs> that, that, that I didn't, yeah. But, but like, she's smart. Maria's smart. She knew what she was doing there. That was a power play. Yeah, she knew. That was, that was the first iconic I, I move. Don't, I, know, I don't question first. her because you know what? She's smarter than I am. <laughs> she's smarter than I am in a, in a lot of ways, right? So, and she and she always tells me, "Don't question me." And every time, she always comes out right. So, uh, but yeah, the show was great. The girls, all the girls, were fantastic on the show. I love them all. I'm, I got to meet a few of them. Um, I don't know if I can say, but uh, you can, this is safe space. You can oh. say. Well, I met Lauren, my favorite. Uh, Alice and her sister, beautiful girl. Taylor, beautiful. She's a wise gal. She was on my team. Yeah, yeah. Edwina, which is fantastic. Allison, um, I mean, Evelyn. I mm. met Jen, of course. Oh. Sweetheart. She is, she's amazing. Uh, Jen is amazing. Um, who else did I meet? I think that's about it. That's awesome. I mean, I'm sure you're like a celebrity amongst them. They probably love you. It's probably equal. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. No, you're, you're you're downplay. You're a celebrity. Lauren, Lauren, sometimes you know she's she you know she always you know sends me a heart in the Instagram whenever I respond to some of her Instagram posts, which it's nice. That's awesome. Um, this might be the part where we. We're not trying to get you in trouble, but we have some questions about the, the bachelorette, the announcement. Yeah. You're kind of getting the weeds with the comments as well. You're making headlines too. Where, where was Maria with the bachelorette talks? I'll just leave it open. You can say what you want. (laughs) I'm not going to say too much about the bachelorette. Um, you know, I don't think anybody should really say too much about the bachelorette because that's not fair to Jen. She's a, she's, yes. Jen mm-hmm. is a great person and this is oh, her, yeah. it's her show. So for anybody to come mm-hmm. out and say right now, you know what? I was asked and I said, no, uh, to me, it's like, you know, like I like to make a donation and, and I, and I make the donation in anonymous. So nobody should say I got asked and I said, no, you can say it later on down the road, but this is Jen's show. She's got, you know, we're cheering for her, the whole family was on her side on this one. So I'm not going to say too much on The Bachelorette. Yeah. What I could say is this. I never wanted Maria to be on The Bachelor. She chose to be on The Bachelor, and I said, okay, that's fine. I'm your biggest fan. I did say during the season, if she ever was The Bachelorette and wanted to be The Bachelorette, I, again, I'm not a fan of it, but if you decide to do it, I'm, again, your biggest fan. The only one thing, and I know a lot of people have been saying this, the only one thing that I did say absolutely not was Bachelor in Paradise. So, no. Yeah, I know. So, again, I mean, she may say, you know what, Dad, I'm going to do it. But that's the only thing that I really did say no. And I even told the, the producers that as well, right? No Bachelor in Paradise. Par- Bachelorette and whatever, that's fine. I mean, that, that's her choice, not mine. But Bachelor in Paradise, I, that doesn't sit comfortable with me. But again, what, what about yeah? What about paradise? Is just like the environment of being I mean, on the beach. I, I, I don't want to see Maria in a bikini every single day. So I, I, yeah. fair. I mean, As a father, fair, fair yeah. point. Her <laughs> father. I mean, for other for the guys, they probably do. But me as her father, I don't want to see her in a bikini every day. Now, as when you uh, like you're watching it back, I just wonder. I don't know. Was a part of you rooting? for this to work like at what point do you convert in your head i want this to work out for my daughter because it is a weird i'm sure growing up you don't expect hey my daughter's gonna get engaged to 
a man on television. At what point were you convincing yourself this could be a reality and I have to be okay with this? What was that conversation in your head? Uh, you know, when, when I first met Joe, I mean, when I met Joey at hometown, I didn't know, I didn't know, look, looking, watching the show back, I can see he was going in different directions. But from what I saw, the way I saw them, um, it, it made sense. They they looked good. They 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 matched. They even matched. They looked like you know they could be. You know sometimes you know when you, when two people look alike, they also get along, right? And mm -hmm. but I, I, seeing Maria with him made me happy. Um, so I and I thought that she was she did have her guard up. And that's why I said, you know, a couple of times, you know, put your guard down, let it go. Whatever happens, happens. I mean, you know, but I mean, she's happy now. She's happy. She she was happy even when she came home. Um, he wasn't the guy for her, you know, and um, she was okay. And I think she knew that. I think she knew his heart was somewhere else. She was okay with that. Um, like for me to tell you that she was heartbroken and stuff like that. Uh, no, she wasn't. But did she did she did she think highly of Joey? Yes. Yeah, she did. Oh. She always she always said, you know, great guy. Uh, didn't have one bad thing to say about him. Seems See, like actually, a Maria, standard actually Maria didn't have one bad thing to say about anybody, even the girls, even Sydney, yeah. even Le yeah, no, none of them. Well, the cast was awesome. Like at the end of the day, yeah. there was drama, but you they know, were cool. be, the girls are the ones that are making the show. Yeah. You know, they're the ones that are creating the drama or whatever it is, or one's the villain and one's not the villain and one's putting out the yeah. fire or one's fight. They're, they're the show. They are the show. Yeah. Poor Joey just has to pick between 30 beautiful women. Boo hoo. That's yeah. the easy part. That's the easy part. And the yeah. one, the one <laughs> thing about Joey was I didn't know anything about Joey until I saw him in, with the, in the charity season. Right. Mm -hmm. He never really talked mm -hmm. about himself during this show right you got to know about yeah. all the girls but uh, yeah i went back and i saw him with the charity season yeah great guy great guy charity is beautiful too by the way oh yeah. yeah so uh obviously you know meeting the producers and stuff during hometowns you kind of i guess got to know him a little bit uh if you're close to them or still are um do you know why they hate us they hate us. nobody nobody hates us. i don't think anybody hates you guys but then if they hate you, it's respect, right? They're, you know, so you're doing a good job. There we go. Well, yeah, you can join our posse too, Bad Boys of Bachelor Nation. You yeah. can be like our front man. I'm on your side, guys. <laughs> and we're on your side too. Whenever you need us, you give us a call. We're there. Um, along those lines, I have made a few TikToks, several actually, um, online pretending to date your daughter. And I wouldn't be a man or gentleman if I didn't ask for permission, granted, this is after the fact, but I would like to ask for your permission now to internet date your daughter. It would be my pleasure. <sighs> that, that means the world to me. That really does. And, and also too, uh, I do agree with Kelsey's dad being the, the golden bachelor. Cool guy. Oh cool guy. yeah. Cool guy. That's great. We'll talk to uh, Lizzie here shortly because she awarded I know. our award. I, yeah. was, I was kind of heartbroken that she chose him. But then again, you know, I, I see it too. So, I mean, you know, I see it too. That's awesome. Now, uh, Maria did mention on the show that just so you had talked about, she hasn't brought many guys home. No, I, I wonder what it was like in like high school prom homecomings. Was there, were you the intimidating dad? Like, Hey, have her home by nine shotgun on the no, porch. Well, if, if you saw, if you seen on, on one of the episodes, she said that she was raised by, by men. So she meant me and her two brothers. So Maria was always, always into, she, first of all, Maria is a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. Number Whoa. one. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's like, yeah, she's in Taekwondo. She did, she did competitive dance. She was in gymnastics. Um, she was always busy, you know, doing stuff, you know, things like that, right? So there was no time for, well, you're not, she dated, but it wasn't, uh, you know, I'm bringing this guy home, we're gonna watch TV type of thing. No, she never did those things. 
in her 20s, she, she, she was involved in the, she did have a couple of relationships. But if the guy's not serious enough where he's going to come to the house and, and, you know, he's going to basically propose or become like very serious, not going to bring him home. That's just the way she is. She's not going to bring him home. And I respect her for that. You know, I, I respect her for that. I like, and maybe if she wants to like get practice bringing a guy home, yeah, we're she, more than happy. We're more than happy to like fly out there. I've, just, like, I've, hang I've, out for I've already, I've already told her, you know, if Wyatt calls, <laughs> my, my door's open 24 hours, seven days a week. So we're, Let's go. we're good there. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I want to know a little bit more about you being the Canadian Willy Wonka. Can you kind of walk us through what you do, like what your job is, what you do? Been in the candy business basically all my life. Uh, from my father as a kid, uh, uh, making chocolate covered almonds, peanuts, raisins, to sprinkles, to cake decorations, to basically everything. We supply all over the United States and Canada, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to make it look like, you know, I'm looking for business out there because I'm not or trying to uh, advertise my company because I'm not. Uh, Feel free. I, advertise all you want for free. No, no, no. I, don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, but that's, that's what I do. We're, we're, we've been in the candy business. Maria's had sugar in her blood since she was born. So, uh, you know, that, I mean, we're not, we're the dentist's uh, enemy, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Do you have right. any, I want to know about the pacifier thing, because obviously that was a big thing for us when we discovered it um how did that come up like how, how how did you get her into that i i never got her into that she got herself into it she was a type in taekwondo and they one of the guys was i think uh, he was a uh, a stunt uh guy uh, and he saw maria and her two brothers and he said we want you guys to be on the show with uh vin diesel and in the pacifier and they got they got on they they did the audition and they chose all three of them which was wow it was it was funny yeah i thought they would choose maybe one or the, or the other but they chose all three all three kids hmm. is yeah. vin diesel the only person you've met that is cooler than you because he seems pretty cool he is cool he is cool <laughs> the only other guy and actually yesterday i was at a hockey game the guy the the, the one person that i get a lot and i don't even know why even yesterday, I was at a hockey game, Toronto and Tampa, and three people came up to me and telling me that I look like Gene Simmons. So I get that a lot. I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why, but I get that a lot. I could see that. You, you give a little like Pacino vibes too. Oh, Pacino. I could see. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I think that's um, where they came up with that Godfather theme. Where even that, I don't know where they came up with that one. <laughs> yeah, the the start of the hometown episodes, they kind of like. Not painted you to seem like a villain, but they painted uh, oh. like the, the the preview is just you sitting in the chair no, we, we, asking some enjoyed, tough hidden we questions. Enjoyed, we had a great conversation together. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a meal together. My mother even cooked us some food. We had to bring it all the way to Buffalo. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know how we crossed it. We had, we crossed it <laughs> on the border. They usually won't let food come across, but they did. But uh, we had some Greek pastries. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to let Lizzie face the music here. Okay. Uh, explain to you why you didn't get daddy of the year. No, but I agree with her. <laughs> Lizzie, I agree with you. No, no, no harm. I agree with you. I think he's a cool dude. I think he'll do the job. I'm, I'm really glad you agree with me. Yeah. Um, but I, I personally think that Batchmaker of the year is a way better title. Yeah. And you won oh. Batchmaker of the year. And you won oh, that. I, I won that. Oh, you're yeah, you're you the number one. one batch maker. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, you won that one, and I think that's a bigger honor okay. anyway. There you go. You're welcome. Um, I don't have any hard-hitting questions. It's more just getting to know you. So do you have any, like, hobbies or things you enjoy doing outside of, like, your work and being with family? Golf. And actually, actually, Joey owes me around the golf. He, he promised me at the table. That we're gonna we're gonna go. Out. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's still gonna keep up with that uh, with that deal. But he did promise me a round of golf. So if he's watching this, he owes me a round of golf. <laughs> and he he owes me a, a tennis match. So he yeah. owes us both. Tennis. I I've never played tennis, so I don't know. I mean, it's a great game. Love watching it, but never played it. 
free tennis lesson anytime you want. If you ever come down to Indiana, let me know. Well, Maria's played tennis. She, she used to play tennis when that, that was another thing she was into tennis. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, Maria and I sound like the perfect match. Yeah. I'll say yeah. it. She's, got, just... a, she's got an amazing backswing. <laughs> That's all free lesson for her, too. If she ever wants to come, I coach a high school team. She can come beat up on them if she wants some confidence. Where are you guys located, anyways? I'm in Indiana. Oh, okay. I'm in Chicago. Right, we're close. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, so, so we're we're, we're in the Midwest. Yeah. yeah. So we're That's from awesome. Toronto. I don't know. It said Maria Kleinberg. It's it's where she lives, but it's just outside of Toronto. You guys ever been to Toronto? I haven't. My doubles partner in college is from Toronto, and he's been begging me to go out there. So maybe I'll have to make a trip soon. Why, well, guys? I'm telling you, come to Toronto. Beautiful city. I'll do it. I'll do it soon. Um, Lizzie, you have any other questions you would like to yeah, Lizzie, uh, ask sorry, Emily? There? Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know if I have any other pressing questions. What, what's the hair routine like? You have a great head of hair. Anything yeah, special? You know what? I, everybody's been telling me to cut it and cut it. And cut. They've been telling me to cut it since I was 30, but now like I'm, I'm 60. What's the use? Let it, let it fall out on its own. Love that. Yeah. And now, uh, oh, I do have I do have a comment um, where you said that you got the Gene Simmons look like I can totally see it. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I, that's what I get a lot. Right. Even yesterday at the game, a few people said that to me, but uh, I don't see it. But a lot of people do. But I'll take that as a compliment because I love Gene Simmons. I love Kiss. Yeah. Have you have you had any uh, like fan interactions? People like start to recognize you from your small moment on the show? Unbelievably. Yeah. Yeah. Even even yesterday at the game, this one lady came and took a picture of me. Then the, I got swarmed by about 10 young girls. And they asked me if I was Maria's dad. They wanted to take a picture. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to take a picture. I'll FaceTime her for you. So I FaceTime Maria. And then they're like, hey, Maria. <laughs> so That's awesome. I would do the opposite. If I run into Maria, I'd be like, you FaceTime your dad. He's the coolest person ever. <laughs> Does it bother? Does it bother Maria that you're now a superstar? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think so. I could. I know that she loves all of you guys, and she got me into your podcast, right? So I, I watch it now when I'm at work. You know, I'll put it on and and uh, I'll listen to you guys. It's good. You guys are doing a great job. Good for you. And I, and I wish you guys more success. You deserve. Thank you. you deserve it. We need to have you on. I don't know if you're going to keep watching the show. Uh, like for Jen's. Oh, I'm gonna, especially with Jen because Jen's a, oh. you know she's a sweetheart. Even before she left, I got a I got a FaceTime from Jen, you know. So yeah, of course I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna be cheering her on. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we need to have you on for a recap episode. So yeah. after the episode, you come on. We can just talk about how all these guys are screwing up and they aren't good enough for Jen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That'd yeah. be perfect. Yeah. All right. We'll last do. thing. Yeah. I want to ask you, um, and you can say no to this. This is an idea we're throwing out there. We want to try because you're our first real guest from the show, from the franchise. Oh, thank you. So um, I don't know if you watched or Maria or the children watched Disney Channel much growing up. So in Disney Channel, what they do, they had these intros where like Miley Cyrus would come on and they'd be like, my name's Miley Cyrus and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> and then they would do that and then they would draw the Disney logo. Okay. They would attempt to, and then they would edit it or whatever. So if you would like to, we would love you to be like, I'm say your name yeah. and you're watching batch makers and then try to draw a heart with your hand. And that'll be the intro to like the next 10 episodes for the show. Right now. Well, yeah. Whenever you're ready, take your time to get into character. If you want, <laughs> I'm Nick Georges and you're watching the batch makers. Let's go. Yes. That's, that's that was awesome. Okay. That was better than I thought. In my head, it sounded like a cool idea as I was explaining it. It sounded hey, Ryan, like you not. you come up with good stuff on the fly, man. I gotta tell you, you come up with good stuff on the fly. Yeah. Wait, wait, can can Maria do it? That'd be cool too. Come down. <laughs> I'm Maria Georges, and this is my dad, Nick Georges, and you are watching the batch makers cheers love you boys and girl clink Puppy. clink hold on wait. <laughs> clink. Oh, oh and here's we vegas didn't even get to see the 
Oh, that's Vegas. He is so cute. That's Vegas. You can come on the next episode. Dude, that's a great name. That's an awesome name. Are you? Ve- have you been to Vegas much? We go to Vegas two, three times a year. I just got back. I was there last week. I know. I know. I watch your podcast, Wyatt. I know. Why? <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know which hotel you were staying. I looked at like the links. Yeah, I was at the link. Right. Good eye. That's wow. Crazy. That's impressive. There you go. All right, Vegas trip. We'll plan it. Yeah, yeah. Matchmakers. Everyone's <laughs> coming. It's going to be amazing. Um, That's good. Awesome. All right, well, uh, I want to give you a platform if you want to uh, – I don't know. I don't know if you want to be like shout something out. But if there's anything you want to clear up, the internet's obviously running wild with Bachelor talk. Anything you want to clear up, anything you want to shout out, floor is yours. Uh, no, I, uh, you know what? Again, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, this is not, this is the first time for me doing a podcast. So, uh, I'm, I'm doing it because I love you guys. I love Lizzie. I love Michael Wyatt. You're the man. Um, I respect my daughter. I'm, you know, I'm happy with what, uh, you know, what she did on the show. I'm, I'm just happy the way she, she, um, carried herself. Um, and all the other girls on the show as well, too. You know, I, I, I give my hand to these guys. They, I couldn't do it. Uh, what they did and how they performed in front of, I, I mean, at hometown with all those cameras, I got, I froze and having the camera on top of you guys, like on them anyways, 24 hours a day and mic'd up 24 hours a day. That's, 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 you got to give them credit for that. So, awesome. Uh, awesome. and you guys for following the show and letting everybody know what's going on. That's, that's, uh, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we just try to keep it fun. And thank you for being a part of that. We appreciate it. And shout out to Maria for also uh, having her hand in this as well. Thank you so much for coming on. It means the world to us. Let's give it up one more time. My pleasure, guys. Thank you.